Hola, soy Christopher Go. Estoy aquí en Madrid con Azul City. Now, the software use, we use to capture is Fire Capture. Now, it's basically the best capture software available. One thing nice about this camera is that it controls everything in your telescope system, from your camera to the focuser, filter wheel, the telescope mount itself. So it's an all-in-one package and plus it's free. Now, here are the basic uh, fire capture controls. Now, the basic control that you have is exposure and gain. Now, a lot of people will ask me, how, what, what exposure time do you use? What gain should you use? Unfortunately, it's like asking somebody, what gear do you use when you drive a car? Well, it, it all depends on your, um, the, you know, the condition of your traffic and everything. So there's no set, uh, uh, you know, your exposure time and your gain will depend on your telescope system, the scene conditions, the transparency, and like even the camera you use. So, but you know, you have to adjust with the gain and, and exposure time. Now, one thing about fire capture is that, especially right now, when you're using a camera with a large field of view, there's a feature called ROI or region of interest, which you can use to reduce the, the area that you want to capture. Now, with ROI, you have smaller file sizes, which will help you in your processing and, uh, and archiving. So I would recommend you use ROI, you just use a small space, enough for the planet and a little wiggle room as the planet moves because of some uh, misalignment, mispolar alignment. Now here's an important step that you have to do, especially if you're going to do wind dew pause derotation, you have to check the wind dew pause setting here, the wind dew pause name, file name, uh, file naming, which means that it will have a file name where WinDupos can basically capture the date and the time. This will save you a lot of time when you're using the rotation later on. This setting is on the uh, settings of your fire capture in capture settings. So the next uh, important thing is to set up the filter wheel. Now, one thing about uh, fire capture is that with a filter wheel, with a motorized filter wheel, everything is automated. All, all you have to do is to go to red and basically once you start capture, it will basically roll over to green and blue by itself. So this is an, uh, one thing, um, but make sure that your filter wheel is ASCOM compliant. And there are a few uh, filter wheels that can run uh, with, with fire capture, uh, like uh, Starlight Express, QHY, ZWO filter wheels. These three will work well with fire capture. Then, here we go. This is an important step. Capture secrets. The most important step is you have to find a sweet spot of your system. This is something that I cannot help you with, but you will have to figure out in, with trial and error. So what is a sweet spot? Basically, the best uh, spot uh, setting for your gain and exposure time. Now, I would recommend that you use the fastest uh, frame rate possible, of course, with a limited amount of gain. The higher the gain, the higher the noise. So uh, I would recommend, especially if you're using the 290 camera, gain between 300 to 400 dB. The gain of 30 to 40 dB or in the case of the settings, I don't know, uh, for the QHY camera, this is between three to 400. Spend time to focus on the camera. You know, focusing is not that easy, especially when seeing is not very good. So you have to be very patient. Spend about five minutes to focus, to find the focus. You know, a lot of people have been asking me, can you use these uh, different focus aids on your, uh, when you do your imaging. Uh, unfortunately, uh, most of the focus aids will not help you. Uh, they might work with stars, 
but not with planets. Now with planets, you can use, uh, example, if you're imaging Jupiter, one of the moons of Jupiter to focus, and this would be a big help in focusing. Now, the, the, the biggest secret on, on imaging planet is basically the rotation. It's basically capturing a lot of data. Now, uh, before, before the rotation, you can only work with one set of image. Now, with the rotation, you can capture it to even up to one hour of data. If your condition is really very bad, you can capture one hour of data and basically derotate the hell out of it. Now, when doing capture, before you start capturing, be very patient. Or when you're doing capturing, be very patient. It takes time. You know, capturing for one hour is not easy. It takes a lot of patience. Well, basically, if you want the best image, you need patience to basically find the sweet spot, to find everything, do everything trial and error. These things, you need a lot of patience. 